Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I am riding the Tiger 850 Sport. Um, the guys at uh, Bulldog was very kind to uh, give me a test ride on this bike because um, I'm, I'm sort of always looking to, uh, to, to chop and change a bike. I know it's a bit of a problem. A lot of people like keeping their bikes for a long time. I actually like to experience um, as many bikes as possible. Um, so yes, I am out on the, uh, tri uh, the Triumph Tiger 850 Sport. This one is stock standard. Um, also the seat height is on the high setting. And um, I'm just gonna ride it and give you guys some feedback and um, how I find it. Because I'm gonna compare this to my um, uh, Street Triple R. Um, and as you guys know, I love the Street Triple R. You know, it's it's such a smooth bike. It's such a such a nice bike to ride. It sounds beautiful. It it rides beautiful. It is just covers miles with such ease. So this is again something that I was um, sort of brought up with is adventure bikes. You now I I basically had uh, most of the BMW GS range and um, I'm gonna actually compare this to my F850 GS that I had uh, prior to my Zero and then I'm also gonna just give some uh, feedback on on um, the comparison between um, riding a, a Street Triple R and then this bike. I know it's a total different bike, totally different, but um, just the feel of of the of the bike so i can give you guys just um some pros and cons of 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 what i find riding the one compared to the other one but first let's have a look around the bike okay so let's have a quick look around the bike um and there, there's been so many reviews so i might miss out some specific points but i'll uh, link all the information down in the comments below so you guys can check that out but um i'm just gonna um of go over the bits this is the adjustable screen um, a lot of people say it's very difficult to adjust and some people say it's very easy to adjust for me um, getting it from the low position to the high position that's fairly easy um, to uh, adjust it um, in the middle settings that can be a little bit tricky so again something to get used to nothing nothing major it's got the nice uh, running lights bulldog triumph Great service, these guys are awesome. Spoke to the guy, um, Justin. Justin or Jason? Really, really good. Sorted me out quickly. So it's got, it's got the Brembo brakes. Again, I'm gonna compare that to the Street Triple R's brakes. Down here is the dual radiators. And then there's the, um, the different firing uh, engine this, so, uh, but, but yeah three into one exhaust on the side and i'm a sucker for this red and gray <laughs> most of most of my uh, clothes are all black red or gray and um yeah it's nice so the 850 is it is just a slightly detuned or more tuned road version um the engines are exactly the same between the 850 and the 900 so it's an 888 cc engine but again, a nice looking engine, big old lump. And I like this uh, gray finish they've, they've got on the covers. Just looks, looks nice. So the rear has got a, a, a adjustable. So this is for preload, I think. Again, if I'm wrong, I will correct that. Um, it's the exhaust and even from the rear side, you know, the, the rear um, end of the bike, that looks really, really good. I'll start it up in a minute. But another little point, um, the rear subframe you can actually take off. So if you do fall or damage it or bend it or whatever, then um, that can be replaced. The same for the for the um, passenger foot hangers, this can also be removed. The tire at the back, this has got an Anarchy Adventure on, uh, Michelin, and that is a 15070 r17 yeah tubeless tire from the back that's how it looks like very nice exhaust i like this uh, half oval can really looks nice i think that i do like got some really nice hand grips here 
again like this this one does not come with the center stand but you have to maneuver the bike it's always good to have like solid hand rails and also if you have a pillion on the back it's awesome for them to hold on to it's nice and wide so even if they sit down it's there's a there's a big gap between the seat and the grab handles and it's nice and round it's not there's no sharp edges and that is very awesome you get some luggage for this according to the guy you can pretty much buy the stock bike and then kit it out with all the bits and bobs uh, there's the key for the for the um, seat to take the seat off and i assume what do we have here oh that's just the cover but this is probably for accessories so so you can probably fit like all usbs or any plugs in this this also looks like a maybe for a helmet uh, lock or something in that line or a 12 volt socket can also be that the chain this bike is nice and dirty on this side oh uh, so there's the gear shift mechanism up and down Again, it's got nice radiators there and then uh, going back E10 is the new fuel we're using there's this um, uh, ride in settings that you need to um, use some people don't a lot of people do this thing has got 2,000 something miles on the clock again there's the there's the mirrors there's the switch gear, the brights, um, and then the horn is here in the front. This is for your uh, rider modes. This is the indicator horn. Oh, what is this then? Oh, this is for brights um, and dims. Oh, interesting, it's red. Usually the horn is red, but yeah, it's a trigger. So the, the horn is here at the bottom and then there's this little joystick press in up and down to select it and so forth this is the smaller tft screen this is very overcast in the uk as per normal so uh, it's pretty clear in this type of conditions okay there's the start kill switch um, and that's the home to select there's your in um, your hazard lights nice brake levers that's adjustable and the clutch is nice and light. Coming on to this side in the front. Yeah, I do like it, really nice. But let's get on the bike and let's get riding. Oh, I just wanna show you this um, adjusting of the screen. So uh, you push it forward. See there's little uh, springs in there. So you push it forward and then you can, you can, you can come on, adjust it up. And then you need to see it's not that difficult as soon as you get used to it it's perfectly fine okay but let's just quickly turn the bike on tiger good morning <laughs> and there's all your settings you can change this the um the different layouts of how it shows um, I need to go and find a fuel station while we are running out of fuel here in the UK for some bizarre reason. Well, not bizarre reason. There's no drivers to deliver the fuel. It's not that we don't have fuel. So there's no people to deliver the fuel. But yeah, let's uh, stop the waffle and uh, let's get going. Very nice bike. I like the color scheme. It comes in a red and a blue one. But you have to go and check it out yourself because um, from the photos, the grey looks different to me, and the red also looks different. The red looks too bright, but in this one, it really looks just nice. I like it. It's, it's like a dark, dark, uh, dark red. I hope you can see that. Okay, let's get going. Let's start up this uh, the Triumph 850 Sport. Let's get going. hope you can see that. There we go, miles per gallon on a test bike is 55 miles per gallon, UK. So that's quite cool, that's really good. And I've uh, got 85 miles of range left. So uh, let's get going. Clutch in, start, and listen to that. Uh, 
That has got a really nice sound. Very nice. Okay, let's get going. I hope the camera is at a good angle. The screen is on the lower setting. Okay, so I'm going to give you feedback as I go. Um, firstly, as I pull away, I just want to check if there's nothing that I left behind. Um, the clutch is very uh, smooth, meaning that it's, uh, when you release it, it's almost like uh, it, there's no like a grabby clutch. Some bikes, um, I also re remember the, um, like the BMW cars, the clutch was so uh, ready to, uh, to get going that you sometimes have to really uh, know how to ride the car. Now, second thing that I pick up instantly from my street triple is uh, the indicator light. So the indicator is more a, a click rather than a, than a push, meaning that it's, uh, that it's much easier and there's a smaller travel to actually change it. So it's, uh, you know, sometimes I uh, use the when I uh, have to indicate on the street triple, I don't look down to indicate, but I do press, press the button and then it doesn't indicate because um, you have to uh, push it really far to the one side. So that's the one thing, or the second thing. The other thing is, whoa, this has got a lot of space. <laughs> I'm gonna close the visor again. So for me, I'm 178 centimeters tall the seat is nice and upright. I, uh, the, the handles are, uh, for me, very in a relaxed uh, position, meaning that I, I'm sitting comfortably, sitting down, straight back, um, very, very nice. But it's wide, wide bars, <laughs> and the, the tank looks and feels massive. I think this has got a 20 litre tank. So it's probably going to be about, what about, 20 pounds of fuel to fill this boy up. Um, your legs and stuff has got so much space here to move about. And again, clip the indicator. Let's go. Oh, it leans very nicely. Now, uh, a lot of people have been complaining about the, um, the little TFT screen that's only a 5 inch compared to the, compared to the bigger one um, and uh, they can't see the rev counter. Now yes, it's not, it's not the ideal, it's not the clean, clearest uh, rev, rev counter but man, I don't have a problem, uh, I've, to be honest, to be honest, I have never really used a rev counter. Um, I only use the rev counter to ride the bike in and then I write on how it sounds. Now I'm not going to uh, uh, ring the ring the uh, rev it up to the red line all the time, so you get a feel for feel for how it works. This it does not have a quick shifter. That only comes in the in the other bike. Whoa! How cool is this? It's a total different feeling to. Uh, to lean a, a, a tall bike around the corners. It's just, <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it, is, it is very open and uh, spacious in front of you. This whole area here, yeah, it just feels like you can fit an array of gadgets on you. And this is on the lower setting of the screen and I don't get, uh, I, I get some um, air on the top of my helmet, but nothing on my chest, nothing on my shoulders. This is very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a section on the motorway and just feel how it feels like at around uh, 70 miles an hour if there's no road works. And then I need to go and get some fuel as well. So far, so far very uh, uh, comfortable. I can think it is because it's all open and wide. The indicator is definitely a uh, a bit of an upgrade. 
I think, you know, the the smaller um, adjustments needed to to indicate is for me always nice because you can just uh, it just clips as a as a click. Um, on the gears, the gears feel a little bit shorter, meaning it's easier to go up and down on this one compared to my street triple. Now, um, now if I compare this to the 850 gears, and the thing is, what I said to the guy. I really loved my 850 GS. It was basically a get up and go bike and go anywhere with that thing. The thing with this bike is it sounds better. That's the thing. It sounds better. So it's got that missing little thing um, on the 850 GS where the engine is a very much a, it's a very good engine, but it just doesn't sound as nice. Yes, you can fit another can and this and that, the other, but this bike has got that uh, Triumph sound of the triple but uh, but it's a it's it's a it's a it's a deeper sound so the deeper sound of the twin really really cool also another another note about uh, another note about the uh, the bike it's a uh, it's very quiet behind the screen um, because the the street triple uh, doesn't have a big screen um, to hide behind this thing is uh, very, very, uh, well, it's, it's much more quiet than being straight in the wind. Hey, that's pretty much obvious, yeah? Everyone would say, it is obvious, but it's just a, a uh, observation, really. It's much more quiet. I can actually hear my camera uh, when it starts recording um, and when it uh, does not. So let's see what this guy is going to do. Is he going to do? Way, let's go. And that was uh, in six gear and it pulls that nicely. It's got a very nice and raspy engine. Okay, so let's do a bit of a motorway section. It's only 80 miles, uh, so sorry, it's only 60 miles an hour on this stretch. But the LCD in this uh, dull weather is uh, very clear, to me at least. Again, the indicator, perfect. The thing is as well, if you set up, if you set up straight, it's, uh, it's usually much easier to see behind you because you're, uh, cause you can turn your head, um, you don't have to turn it past your shoulder. Um, so it doesn't have cruise control, and it doesn't have sus uh, adjustable suspension on the front. But the thing is, again, I was saying to the guy as well, you know, I have actually never adjusted my suspension on any of the bikes I've owned. Yes, I've done the, uh, you know, if you've got a, the, um, if, you, if you take a pillion or a pillion with, uh, with say, a lot of luggage and stuff, then I would use the BMW's uh, rider suspension adjustment to compensate for for that. But then again, with bikes that didn't have it, I didn't really have any problems. Um, I'm a fairly light rider. I weigh 75 kilograms. So for me, it's, uh, uh, I don't know. This is comfortable, man. <laughs> this is just very comfortable. It's, uh, it's an easy to ride bike. Can probably go to Wales straight away now and just uh, not have any issues. I'm just gonna stop and check if I can get some fuel on the motorway and then we can do another junction. But I'm doing 60 miles an hour, it's very clear on the on the on the display, don't have any trouble with that. The rear mirrors um, at 60 miles an hour, there's no vibration, it's really large as well, so I can see easily behind me. Uh, it's quiet, it's comfortable. I get more wind from this uh, bus on the one side of me than from the front. But again, you know, for me, riding in the winter as well, uh, heated, heated grips and uh, hand guards, that would be the two things that uh, would need to be upgraded. Let's quickly see if we can get some fuel for the bike. Give you some uh, further feedback. I, I was on a section on the motorway and uh, doing about 70, 72, 74, and uh, it was really nice and uh, protected. Really nice protection on this bike, um, even on the low setting. Now, yes, I'm not, I'm not extremely, uh, I'm not an extreme tall rider, but uh, but yeah, it makes it it makes for such a nice just sit back and cruise. Um, another thing, just on the on the bike's uh, seating position. 
my knees is pretty much the same as sitting on my desk chair at the office <laughs> so it's uh, it's very little strain on anything and that is uh, really good there's a lot of protection behind this uh, behind the radiators that they've positioned that can make the tank nice and wide and um, it, it, it really um, allows you to be covered from all sides to to not have any uh, massive amounts of wind uh, pestering you on the rear of the bike or sitting on the bike I think the pillion seat the pillion seat will be comfortable as well because it's nice and flat and as I said the handlebars or the or the or the grip handles on the side would be uh, would be really nice for the for the for the pillion anything that I've picked up so far no, I don't know um, the thing that I'll, I'm going to check with the guy is the service interval and uh, about how much the service will cost just to add that in but an interesting thing we are in this petrol uh, diesel crisis at the moment I have visited four fuel stations and the fuel station uh, close to uh, Bulldog Triumph they are all out of fuel uh, so not good not good at all so I'm gonna cut this uh, this ride short so it can give someone else also an opportunity to, to uh, test ride this bike but this is a massive problem at the moment luckily my uh, my street triple is uh, it's got a full tank of fuel but yeah all the big fuel stations even the motorway one was uh, was out of use it's all empty and this is all because we don't have any uh, truck drivers to actually deliver this stuff uh, another thing the foot pegs is nice and uh, wide uh, very little vi vibration through them um, on the motorway uh, on the B roads and stuff you know this uh, Marzocchi suspension in the front is uh, is doing a good job of uh, taking the jarring out of uh, bad B roads. That's all I can say. But yeah, guys, very impressed with this bike. Yes, it's an 850 or or a detuned one, but I think I think they've uh, tuned it more for road going, and uh, you know most of my riding I do on the road is just be able to uh, do it in more luxury and yeah very nice I hope you guys get a good view that's the screen screen that and there's uh, 19 degrees outside it's uh, it's about 10 30 in the morning yeah so what do, what do I think about this bike guys man if you in them in the market for an adventure bike um, and uh, you uh, you don't want to spend uh, the money on the on the uh, 900 uh, GT range. That's I think about uh, 11,300 to start at. This one comes in at uh, I think about 2,000 pound under under that. Man, you must go and try this bike. Um, you pretty much get everything you need in a bike. Now, um, do I need cruise control? uh no it's like uh having uh sometimes yeah okay so so i i had quite a few bikes that had so many electronics that it feels like it takes away from from riding the bike um where and and then i had a bike that didn't have any electronics like the r90 scrambler that was like a farm implement um very nice bike looks awesome but it was very like a like a like a like a bare minimum bike and uh, that was for me also comfortable or not comfortable it was for me very uh, uh, easy to get along with it sounds good rides good it's got a throttle you don't always need uh, uh, what do you call it quick shifter and all these things the thing that I would like on this bike is hand guards and heated grips especially for the UK it's one of those two things that uh, even if there's no heater grips just to have the hand guards because the hand guards just take um, the wind away from your hands when you're riding in the cold and it makes such a big difference it makes such a big difference uh, uh, to helping the uh, 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 heater grips to actually work better and if you don't have the heater grips it keeps your hands warmer for longer because the thing is I actually like riding with thinner gloves I actually bought myself a pair of heated gloves now so uh, 
so I'm pretty much sorted but uh, I actually like riding with thinner gloves than these massive thick arctic gloves it, it, it just really feels like you, you can f feel nothing on the bike that's not really ideal okay guys um, I'm on my way back now as I said I'm gonna go and drop off the bike but just some final thoughts on the bike before I say uh, goodbye um, it's a really nice and easy bike to ride um, I don't have any uh, 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 pressure on my uh, arms or my uh, 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 hands on the handlebar I've got a really nice wide seating position and I've been on the bike now for uh, just under two hours and um, yeah it's uh, it's uh, the seating position your back your shoulders it's really a relaxed position um, the other thing is I can flat foot the bike on both sides so uh, even on the high position the seat is nice and soft um, I don't know how that's going to be on a long, long journey, but uh, so far it's been really good. I can't really tell on a short ride like, like this. Uh, other things that I can quickly think, of, think about. Oh yes, you know, if you're in the market for an adventure bike, you need to go and check this bike out. And uh, for this price, oh man, you can't go wrong. You know, you can, you can buy the base version and then uh, upgrade as you, as you need or you, uh, or you get on. Uh, with heat grips and so forth but guys um, do it go and try it out this is such a nice bike easy to ride um, the center of uh, gravity feels also uh, very low on the bike so it's very easy to maneuver it's very light the throttle not uh, not jerky at all you know in the slower the slower uh, slower speeds the 30 miles an hour as I'm doing now I'm in third gear. This is quite a nice speed. But yeah, really, really, really nice bike. I think you can uh, uh, get the pillion up and get some uh, luggage on this one and just uh, take it for a, a long, long trip. But okay, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know in the comments below and uh, give a big old thumbs up if you want to see more content like this and please subscribe and click that notification bell so i'm going to see if i can uh, test ride some other bikes as well but uh, for now i think i would not be able to get out of my pcp deal on the street triple to move to this bike and uh, the street triple is a different bike but it's also a very very nice bike well guys i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, i hope to see you on the next ride thanks for joining Thanks for watching and have a great time riding your bikes. Cheers.